everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, and I'm wearing holiday colors. We got the holiday headband popping off, so you already know what time it is. Today's video is all about cute, creative, and affordable gift basket ideas. So if you are looking to just gift people interesting, cute little gift baskets this year, I have a bunch of ideas for you all, and I think you're gonna love them. So let's go ahead and get into the holiday spirit and talk about some gift baskets. Okay, so before we even get into our first basket, I wanna to talk to you all about some vessels and some decor items that will help you when you're making gift baskets. So, of course, gift baskets, you're gonna need baskets. I shared this set of baskets from the Target Dollar Spot in my little 15 under 15 Target items video. This was only $3, so they're a dollar each, but you can find similar sets and similar baskets at the Dollar Tree, at the 99 cent store, and places like that. So if you don't wanna spend a lot of money on your vessels, you can get them at those locations. But I think this little set from Target is so cute. It has three different colors in there. Really, really great. Also, you can find good affordable baskets at like TJ Maxx, Ross, and Marshalls. These are two baskets from TJ Maxx. Both of them were $7.99, so they're about $8. And they're really, really cute and convenient for creating gift baskets. I love picking up these baskets just at random when I'm shopping at TJ Maxx because they're affordable and I always use them for something, whether it's gonna be something around my house or actually using them for a gift. Other options would be some vessels from Target that I found. This is a cute little like woven basket here. This is from the Target Dollar Spot as well. It was $5. Really, really cute little vessel there and I probably will use that with one of the baskets. I also found this little container from Bright Room, which is a Target brand. Really cute affordable I think this is probably like four or five dollars super cute and cheap and then I also found this one which is also from the Target Bright Room collection and this one I think was about five dollars as well so a cute little like woven you know cloth basket so if you're making something for the bathroom for somebody or something like that this is great they can just actually just take it and sit it in their bathroom on the counter but I do want to talk about some other items that will help when you are creating your baskets Little decor pieces like these little Christmas trees from the Target Dollar Spot are great to add to baskets. They take up a little room. There's something that people can use as decor in their home so they can take this out of the basket and sit it up somewhere. These are, I think, $3 from the Target Dollar Spot. Yeah, only $3 from Target Dollar Spot. And they're like little weighted Christmas trees that have like a little burlap base, so super cute. I also have some bowls here. These are red burlap bowls. These are great to add to your baskets when you wanna add a little pizzazz and a little you know, holiday festivity to your baskets. I also found these cute little mini Christmas trees from the Target Dollar Spot. These were a dollar each, so super affordable, and they also add a nice little pop to your baskets. I also have these. These are actually napkin rings. I get these in a set of six from Amazon, and they have like a little pine cone on them, and they have some little um, thistle on them and some berries. These are cute also to add to your baskets or to use them to like actually hold something together. So I usually will take a couple of these and use them in my baskets. And then last but not least is like fillers. So you have like paper filler to put in your basket. So I have some here from Target. As you can see, this is red and white and it's like the shredded crinkle paper. I also have a red and green one from Target. This is like the little shredded crinkle paper to put in the bottom of your baskets. And then I have some like um, translucent crinkle paper. I bought four packs of that, and this is also from Target. All of these are from the Target Dollar Spot. They're only $1 each, and they're pretty substantial. So, you know, if you're filling a basket and you wanna have something down in there to just kinda make it look a little bit more, you know, professionally put together, these crinkle papers really do help. So I wanted to share those with you guys. Now we can go ahead and get into our baskets. I'm so excited. I love this kind of stuff, y'all. Okay, you all, so we are starting off with a coffee lover's basket. Now this is gonna be the ideal basket for anybody in your life who you know loves to start their mornings or all day with a cup of coffee. And I have some really cute items to go in this basket. I'm gonna be using this rectangular basket from TJ Maxx. This one again was $7.99, super affordable. I 
added this burlap red bow to the front and then I added my crinkle red and white paper inside. I added one pack of it and it's nice and voluminous that paper. It really did kind of pump up the basket already. So if you need to like add some height to your baskets, that paper is great. But here's the items I'm going to be adding. So I have these cute little Christmas socks from the Target dollar spot. These were $5. I also have some coffee here. This is Disney coffee that I got from TJ Maxx. It has Mickey and Minnie on a sled on the front. You'll see all of this up close when I'm done creating the basket. I'm going to insert a close up for you guys. But I also have this candle. This is a Tahitian vanilla candle by Natural Home Sand and Fog. And then I also have some shortbread cookies here that I'm going to add. Who doesn't love a good cookie with their coffee? I'm also going to add this weighted Christmas tree from the Target Dollar Spot. That was $3. And then I have this set of coffee mugs also from the Target Dollar Spot. This was $5. It's so cute. You'll see it up close in a sec. But the green cup says making spirits bright and the yellow cup says tis the season. Super cute little set of cups for $5, y'all. And then I'm also going to add this wooden name tag now this you can actually write on so i actually wrote on here with a permanent marker i wrote but first coffee and then on the back i wrote to and from so i love this this basket is definitely being made for me i'm just saying it's gonna stay here i'm probably gonna sit it over there on my coffee bar when i decorate for the holidays which is gonna be next saturday i'm so excited but yeah we're gonna go ahead and assemble the basket now so i have my little basket here and like i said i'm gonna just assemble and then I will insert a close up of you guys and that way you can see it like really, really well. But I'm first going in with those socks. I want those kind of in the back of the basket, kind of just sticking out. And then I'm gonna go in with my coffee mugs since they're sort of a bigger item in the basket. I'd say when you're assembling your basket, start with like the large items first. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is my coffee since it's about the same size as those mugs. Then I'm going to go in with my cookies. I want those to sit horizontally in the back. So I'm going to just prop those up in the back behind the coffee and the mugs. Now I'm going to go in with my candle. I want that right in the middle. And the last thing I need to squeeze in is going to be my little weighted Christmas tree from the dollar spot. So I'm just going to pop that right behind the coffee, push it down in there. And this is already looking absolutely adorable, you guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm keeping this basket. See, some of these baskets are gonna be for me. I'm sorry because you know I told I told y'all in my little gifting video, I'm not doing that much for folks anymore. Okay, <laughs> but I'm gonna then pop in my little to and from thing. I don't know where I'm gonna attach this to, so for right now, I'm just gonna kind of pop it in there. But this is so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed <laughs> how simple and easy and just super cute is this and so festive and the person you give this to can just sit this on their kitchen counter um, they can sit it on their little coffee bar or in that area so cute I'm gonna go ahead and insert a close-up right now of the basket so that you all can see how adorable it is and so simple and like I said if you want to make it more expensive you can certainly add other items to this basket but I'm keeping them very simple and affordable and I love this one. I almost want to give it away, but at the same time, I really do want to keep it as well and add it to my coffee bar. So I think this basket is so cute and so simple. A mug, some socks, coffee, a little Christmas tree, a candle, and you can never go wrong with adding a candle to any basket, but oh, so cute, you guys. I am in love with this basket. I love it, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, you guys, so we got our cute little coffee basket sitting back there, but I want to do kind of another version of that basket. And this one is a hot cocoa basket. And this one is great for people who don't drink coffee or for kids, or you know, if there's a teenager that loves hot cocoa, this basket is great. And this one is super affordable and very, very simple and easy. So I have the red basket here from Target, the one that came in the set of three. I added a little red gingham and burlap bowl to the front of it. It has like a little tie, so I just attached it to the basket. Of course, I went ahead and added some of that crinkle paper, about a half a pack in there. I'm also going to be adding to that basket a coffee mug. So this one is from TJ Maxx. It was $7.99. It says Merry Christmas. And I've added some of that crinkle paper inside of the coffee mug as well. I'm also going to be adding these hot cocoa stirring spoons from T Trader Joe's. These are so adorable. You see them up close. 
I'm also gonna be adding some marshmallows. So what I did was just buy a pack of mini marshmallows from Trader Joe's and then I just added some to this little plastic bag. And you can buy these plastic bags in a set of 100 on Amazon for dirt cheap. And these are great when you're making baskets because you can put all kinds of things in them. So I just added some of the marshmallows to one of these little bags and then I tied it with some gold ribbon that I've had for a couple of years from a couple of Christmases ago. So created like a cute little marshmallow bag with that. I was gonna add these candy cane spoons from Amazon, but let me tell you, Amazon did me so dirty on these. Not only are they all broken up, they came with two packs, both are all broken up, but they stuck the label over one pack, like my, you know, label. So like, why would you put that, anyway, Amazon, I'm disappointed, so I can't add the candy cane spoons, but the candy cane spoons were actually supposed to be for this basket. But I will be adding, of course, the star of the show, and that is hot cocoa. This is Girardelli's um, hot cocoa double chocolate mix, and they come in these little individual packets, and as you can see, they have a nice little pop of red, so they're gonna look really cute in the basket. They come in a set of, I think, 12. I've drank a few of these, so, but I think they do come in a set of 12. So I'm gonna put the basket together. The first thing I'm gonna to do is go ahead and put five of these inside of the coffee mug so this is a larger coffee mug it's not like a little standard size coffee mug so it fits you know it's a pretty substantial size coffee mug so I'm just gonna kind of fan them out a little bit and then I'm gonna pop those into the basket inside the coffee mug like I said this one is pretty simple it's not gonna be a lot of stuff in this one that's why I'm able to use this little bitty basket now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my little hot cocoa stirring spoons from Trader Joe's. These are so cute. I'm just gonna pop those in there where you can see them. And now I'm gonna go in with my marshmallows. And that's pretty much it for this basket. And I will insert a clip of it close up so you all can see. It's super cute, super simple. This one is great for a coworker or maybe your boss or like I said, a teenager, or somebody you know who loves hot cocoa but doesn't drink coffee. And I think it's super cute and easy. And this basket literally probably cost $15 to make. Um, so very, very affordable and probably not even that, honestly. I'm looking at the basket is a dollar. Gotta buy the crinkle paper, which is a dollar. The bowls, which are about $1.50. Yeah, we're looking at about 12 to 15 dollars for this basket and i think it's very adorable and like i said this is great for associates you know maybe your mailman your realtor or something like that or also co-workers friends neighbors if you want to gift them something really cute like this i think this is adorable but of course this one is for me <laughs> i am keeping this one <laughs> so yeah i don't feel comfortable donating anything that you ingest to the women's shelter just in case they don't take stuff like that so I'm just gonna keep the edible stuff for myself. But yeah, so cute. What do you guys think? I love it. Let's go ahead and move on to another basket. Okay, so the next basket we're gonna be creating is what I consider to be a spa basket. So this one is great to just take and sit right in your bathroom. And I love this one because it goes to show that holiday baskets don't have to be like very Christmassy. Although the first two that I made are very Christmassy, some of the other ones you're gonna find can actually be given for birthdays and other holidays. So this is a great idea for like pretty much year round. So the first thing I wanna do is take my basket. I'm gonna be using this sort of rectangular basket and I'm gonna add some crinkle paper. This is white crinkle paper that I, I don't know where I got this from. I think I might've saved it when somebody gave me something or something like that, but it definitely came in a clutch because I don't wanna use those Christmas colored um, <laughs> papers in this basket. So I'm gonna add some of that to my basket just to kind of give me a little bit of height there. First thing I'm going in with is some eucalyptus and mint body wash. This is such a big bottle of body wash and it smells really good. It's by a brand called Soroa and it is from TJ Maxx. It was $5.99, very affordable. I'm also gonna go in with this scent diffuser. This is in sea salt and driftwood. I got this from Saks Office in store. I'm gonna go in with that. That is such a cute little bottle. I also have this candle. This is a sea, sea salted pumpkin smooth and soothing candle. So this is also from TJ Maxx. It was $7.99. The color is beautiful. And one thing you'll see is that the color scheme in this basket is kind of common. So that's something you always wanna consider. Do you want your basket to be color coded? I also have a really cute journal here. I picked this up at TJ Maxx as well. It was $5.99. 
and I thought it would be perfect to add to this basket. You guys, this is already looking cute. Damn, this is another one I'm probably going to keep, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I have this set of face and body sponges and I got this from TJ Maxx as well. It was only $4.99. Gonna go ahead and pop that in there. I have this Pre de Provence uh, product of France soap and this was $7.99 at Saks Off Fifth and as you can see, it's in that beautiful teal color that pretty much everything else in the basket is in as well. I have some K-Beauty Intense Care Hydro Boost face masks. So, so nice. I got these from Ross, I think. Did I get these? Actually, these came from Saks Off Fifth as well and they were $5.99. So I'm gonna pop those in. Oh, this is coming together. So nicely, you guys. Oh my goodness. And so the last thing I have to add to this basket is these leaves. These I got from the 99 cent store. So I have two of them, they were 99 cent each. This one kind of broke off, but I'm glad it did. I'm gonna pop that right in the front. You guys will see this basket up close shortly. Oh, it is so cute. And this honestly would be a great gift for my best friend. You know, she's a very zen person. And I think she would love a basket like this. Like she'd probably just pop it right in her bathroom. Ah, it's so cute, I'm looking at it y'all. It's so cute, it's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a close up of this basket so you can see it up close right now. It is the perfect little spa basket. You got your body wash, you have your candle in there, you have body soap, you have a body scrubber and a face scrubber, you have a scent diffuser, you have a face mask or a set of face masks, it actually has six in the pack, and you have a journal. Oh my goodness, this basket is adorable. And like I said, it's so pretty. You can actually just pop this on the counter in your bathroom or something like that and I think it would be perfect. Or you can put this on a side table in your bedroom as well, but such a cute basket. And hopefully, whoever gets this basket, because I am gonna give it to somebody as a gift, whoever gets this one, hopefully will actually love it and use it. So I'm not sure who it's gonna go to, but hopefully they don't watch this video. <laughs> but I love this basket, so cute. We're gonna go ahead and move on to another one. The next basket we're gonna be working on is a lot of fun. So this one is ideal for your world traveler or anybody that you know who has a vacation coming up that are gonna need like those travel minis. My sister is a travel vlogger. You can follow her at Discovering Eli on Instagram, but she is always going somewhere. Like the girl goes all over the world. So this would be a great basket for her or somebody like her. So it's gonna feature a lot of travel minis, like I said. So I'm gonna be adding some mouthwash. This is like a medium size, it's not a mini, but it's like a medium size bottle of mouthwash. And I've already added some of the crinkle paper into this little container. This is the container from Target, as you can see, that little plastic container. But I'm gonna add that um, mouthwash in there. You can always use Listerine or whatever you prefer. I'm also gonna add a toothbrush so the person will have a nice toothbrush. I have found this really cute little um, eye, eye cover and hair tie set from Target. This is from their dollar section. This was $5 and it's in like a little suitcase. Look at how adorable that is. It has wheels on it and everything. You'll see it close up in a second, you guys. But I thought that was so cute to add to this basket. I also have some hydrating makeup remover wipes. You know, a lot of us wear makeup when we're traveling, so this is great to put in there. I also have some Purell um, individual sanitizer hand sanitizer um, wipes, so I'm gonna add those because you know you can always use those when you're traveling. I also have this really cute bottle set. This is a four count bottle set. This is also from Target's dollar spot. It was $3, so I'm gonna pop that in there. That will definitely come in handy. It's one of those, um, you know, flight approved size bottles, so that's definitely something most people can use when they're traveling. I'm also gonna throw in a face mask in case, you know, somebody wants to use it on the plane or when they get to their destination. I also have this downy wrinkle release spray so they can spray that on their clothes and everything kind of has a similar color scheme. You guys will see it once I insert the close up. I'm also going to add these wet ones. These are just like hand wipes and you know that you can use antibacterial wipes basically. But I'm going to pop those in there because those always come in handy. I have some toothpaste to go with that toothbrush. And then I also have some sunscreen that I'm gonna add in there. So we're gonna pop that in. And this looks cute, you guys. Like, oh my goodness, I feel like it needs 
some kind of bow though. I wish I had something. Hold on, let me get a bow, you guys. It needs, it needs something. Hold on. So I figured it out. Instead of a bow, I'm gonna add this little mini frosted Christmas tree from the Target Dollar Spot. And again, that was only one dollar. So I'm gonna pop that in so that it can look and feel more like a Christmas gift. <laughs> That's what we wanted to have, that vibe. So I think this is so cute. And I'm probably going to give this to my sister as one of her gifts. Hopefully she doesn't see this video, but um, she probably will. But I think this looks so nice. Oh my goodness. The perfect little travel gift set for somebody who travels a lot or is planning an upcoming trip. I think this is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a close up so you guys can see what it looks like close up. This is adorable and it's a great idea and it's super affordable. The container that it's in was just a couple of dollars. All of the items inside came from the travel size section at Target. So you know all of those items are, you know, around $1.50, $2, $3 for the sunscreen and things like that. So very, very affordable items there and they're definitely items that anybody can use when they're traveling. I mean, we all need hand sanitizer. We all need, you know, makeup remover, things like that are definitely things a lot of us can use. Probably not a guy, but most of us ladies can use that stuff. And of course, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, we can all use that. And then those little travel size bottles for like your lotion and stuff like that are certainly going to come in handy in this little basket. So great idea if you know somebody who's traveling or you know, who just travels in general, this is a good gift for them. Let's go ahead and move on to another one. This next basket is one that I am super excited to actually donate to the women's shelter. This one is a self-care or body care basket. And I'm gonna be using this little felt woven like basket here. I don't know if you'd call this a basket, but I did go ahead and add some of the shiny crinkle paper in there from Target. Again, you can get that at the dollar spot. I'm smiling because I'm like excited to donate this one. Now, y'all know I'm a native stan. I work with native a lot on my videos, so, but this video is actually not sponsored, but I love native that much that I'm gonna be sharing some of their items in this basket. So they have some really cute matching bottles. Like, you know, you can buy like a whole line in one scent and get like all the different, you know, pieces in that scent. So I love that, but you can also also mix it up but I try to keep things in the same color family so that's what I'm gonna be doing with this basket so to this basket I'm first going to be adding the native body wash this is in the citrus and herbal musk I'm gonna pop that in there and this little crinkle paper is giving me some height so everything kind of shows uh, the next thing I'm gonna add is the brightening facial cleanser and this is in the citrus and bergamot so you have a lot of citrus items going into this basket, which I love. The next item I'm going to add is a candle. This is a vanilla pumpkin candle that I found at TJ Maxx, but I knew it would work perfect for this basket because it's orange. So you guys will see it up close. This candle could not be more perfect for this basket. I'm telling you. The next item I'm going to add in this basket is gonna be this set of vitamin C and collagen sheet masks. This is five masks. This is from Ross. I think this was about $5.99. I don't see the price tag, but I think I paid like $5.99 for that. And it's orange because it's vitamin C, so it goes perfectly with the other items. I'm also gonna add the um, classic deodorant from Native, and that is the citrus and herbal musk scented one. And it's also orange, so cute. This is coming together so cute, y'all. I'm also going to add this really cute expanding loofah that I found on Amazon. As you can see, it's a bright orange, perfect for this basket, <laughs> y'all. I did not pick any of this by accident. To make the basket more Christmassy, I'm gonna throw in one of the weighted Christmas trees from the Target Dollar Spot. So I'm gonna pop that in there because I wanted to have that Christmas feel, but I also wanted to be like whoever gets it can just sit it on their dresser in their room or whatever at the women's shelter. So the next thing that I have here is an e.l.f. balancing facial oil and it's orange. So I thought this would be really cute. I've never tried this oil, but I love all of e.l.f.'s products. So I figured it can't be bad, but I just love that it's in the same color as my basket. So I'm gonna pop that in. The last thing I'm going to add to get more of a Christmas feel is one of my little napkin rings, my little, 
you know, holiday napkin rings that have that acorn and the berries and the little Christmas tinsel on there. So I'm gonna pop that in as well. Oh, and it's perfect. Oh, this basket is so cute. <laughs> you guys, this one is so cute and everything in there is orange. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a close up right now so you can see what the basket looks like. This is perfect. And like I said, I am gonna bag this one up and take it to the women's shelter and this is gonna be one of the ones I'm gonna donate because I think it's perfect to just give somebody as a cheer up for the holidays. And I'll let the administrator over there decide how she wants to give it away or who she wants to give it to. Maybe a new tenant that comes in, maybe she can give it to them as like a starter kit or something. But I think this basket is so cute. Do you guys see all of the matching pieces in there and then the little Christmas touches? adorable right what can i say i did the darn thing with this basket but we're gonna go ahead and move on to another one okay so we are moving on to another basket and this one is kind of just a general girly cutesy basket it's just gonna feature some random items and this is a great idea for you all if you're you know thinking too hard about baskets or if you're just like it's not perfect it doesn't need to be you can put random items in a basket as long as you know that the person you're gifting them to is gonna love it then it doesn't really matter. Things don't need to match necessarily. I try to match them because I think it looks better and it's just so much cuter, but you don't have to even match the items. Like it doesn't really matter. So this is a basket composed of random things. So I'm gonna be using one of the baskets I used earlier. I have some of the white crinkle paper in there. First thing going in is this set of loofahs. So this is like a beige one and like a taupe one. And of course you're gonna see this basket up close. The next thing is gonna be this pair of fuzzy socks these reminds me these remind me of the uh what is it called dream something that line of like plush robes and socks and all kind of stuff these are from h m though they were 14.99 um this basket is probably going to be gifted to the women's shelter so i'm kind of excited about that so i'm gonna pop those in there the next thing i have is this set of really really cute plushy headbands so these are like textured like faux shoeling headband so it has like a, a beige one and like a brown one so so cute oh my god somebody's gonna love that i actually ordered two sets of those headbands one for the basket and one for myself because they are just too cute so yeah somebody's gonna love this basket the next item that i have to go into this basket is a bar of soap this is pumpkin vanilla scented soap Thought that would be really cute in there. And then I have this little set of hand creams that I found at Nordstrom Rack. Thought this would be really cute in this basket as well. And honestly, when I've been out shopping, like I always have the baskets in mind. So this stuff is not like random. Like literally, I'll, I'll go to Nordstrom or TJ Maxx and I'll like look for stuff for the baskets. So, cause I knew I was gonna donate some of them to the women's shelter and I wanted them to be really cute. The last thing I'm adding to this basket is gonna be a candle. It's like a white candle with a wooden top. I'm gonna put that on there. And yeah, this is so freaking adorable. So of course I wanna bring the Christmas vibe to this basket. So I have this bow. This is more like a fall bow, but it doesn't really matter. It's a bow, a bow is a bow. Okay, the holidays are the holidays. It doesn't really matter. So I am going to go ahead and attach this beautiful bow to the front of this basket, just to give it a little more life and, you know, so it, it, it says it's a gift, right? <laughs> so I'm just attaching that really simply and yeah. These baskets, when I get them, um, they're actually going to be in different vessels. I'm not going to give away my basket. So I actually bought some plastic clear containers to put these in. I am going to dress them up like baskets, but they're not going to be in these specific baskets that you're seeing in this video because then I'll be giving away all my baskets and we can't have that. So I'm just going to go ahead and tuck the sides of that bow in. This basket is so cute. I think this is one of the cutest ones yet. So you have some cute little fuzzy socks a cute little loofah set you have a candle you have a bar of soap it smells really good you have a set of hand creams in there this basket is adorable i'm gonna insert a close-up right now so you all can see it such a cute basket and like i said just composed of simple 
random items that I know any girl would love or any woman would love. This can be suitable for a teenager or a grown woman or an older woman. I mean, who doesn't love nice, fuzzy, warm socks and a good candle and some loofahs to shower with? We all use that stuff. And then, of course, some good hand cream from Nordstrom Rack. So really really cute basket if i say so myself we're gonna go ahead and move on to another one so the basket we're about to make now is probably one of my favorite baskets that i make all the time for people and i make them when my cousins or my friends and i rent houses i usually make one of these baskets but i make it on a much larger scale and that's going to be a movie night basket this one is so affordable and if you know anybody who loves to netflix and chill or just watch movies or they're always obsessed with the next movie out and so forth this would be a great basket for that person so it's basically going to consist of a lot of snacks <laughs> so i have some white cheddar popcorn here i buy this popcorn all the time at ross it's so good it's so crispy it's a good flavor and i love it so what i did was add some to one of my little plastic bags so those little plastic bags come in handy and all you got to do is tie a cute little bow on it so I'm gonna pop that into my basket first I'm using the little red basket from Target honey we are reusing these baskets okay but these I'm just showing y'all so basically I can reuse them okay <laughs> I'm also gonna pop in a bunch of candy so I have some little wafer cookie chocolate candies from Trader Joe's and you'll notice that the color scheme of the items are kind of similar a lot of the items are gonna have red and so on in them I have some Jack Links cheese and beef jerky. I'm gonna pop that in. I also have some red vines because I mean, who ain't eating red vines at the movies? I know I'm always eating red vines at the movies. <laughs> I also have some Reese's Crunchies here. So I'm gonna pop those in. I have some cookie dough here. This is one of my favorite um, movie snacks. I love these at the movies. They're so good, so sweet. I'm gonna pop those in. Then I have some Butterfinger Minis. Pop those in. You're basically just kind of putting things in wherever it'll fit. Just getting it all in there. This basket turns out really, really cute. And it's a very simple gift. The last thing I have here are some Raisinets. And I love the little pop of yellow that they bring as well as the Butterfingers. So here's the basket. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. You guys, I'm going to insert a close up so you can see it a little bit better. But you can add whatever candy and snacks and treats that you feel the person you're gifting this to will like. So if they're not so much a chocolate lover and they like more like taffy and Skittles and things like that, you can definitely switch up this basket. But this is just what I decided to do because this is what I like to eat when I'm watching a movie. I love chocolate, I love red vines, and I love popcorn. So super cute little basket. Hopefully you guys will try that one out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So now we're gonna be making a really cute basket that I'm calling a kitchen starter basket. So maybe you know somebody who just moved or maybe you know a young person that's gonna be going back to college or something like that. This would be a great basket for them or anybody. Like this basket is really, really cute and anybody would love this. So honestly, I'm keeping all this stuff for myself but I just wanted to show y'all the basket. But we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So I took my little rectangular basket and I actually added a gingham and burlap bow. I think I showed that to you all earlier. So this is from Amazon and I thought it would be so cute because most of the stuff in this basket is black and white. So let's go ahead and start assembling the basket. So the first thing going in is a set of three spatulas. So these are like um, silicone and wood spatulas. These are from TJ Maxx. They were $5.50. Really great deal for those really cute spatulas. And the next thing that's going to go in is this little cutting board. It was $7.99 at TJ Maxx. I hate that they put the stickers right on front, on the front of stuff. Like, that's so annoying. But we're going to go ahead and pop it in with the sticker on there. <laughs> uh, it looks so cute, though. The next thing we're going to go ahead and put in is some holiday cheer. And that's going to be my little weighted Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree dollar spot at Target. The next item I'm going to add is going to be this two-in-one soap dispenser and sponge caddy. I thought this was really cute. It's black. I'm definitely putting this in my boyfriend's bathroom so he can easily wipe off the sink and stuff with it. But I think this is so nice. And it was only $7.99. Good price for this. Like real ceramic, black, sleek, really cute, modern. PJ Maxx is the bomb. The next item I'm going to add is going to be these basting or pastry brushes. So it's a set of three. As you can see, they're in like a 
neutral colors. So you have gray, taupe, and beige. Definitely keeping these, y'all. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold y'all. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm keeping them brushes. But um, I thought they were so cute to add to this basket. The last thing, is that the last thing? Oh, the next thing, not the last thing that's going into this basket is gonna be some black kitchen shears. Can never have too many of those. Um, and, you know, as much as I use my kitchen shears for everything, I always need to replace them. So that is looking so cute y'all the last thing i'm gonna add i think this is it yeah last thing i'm gonna add is gonna be these little kitchen mittens they have like a little silicone inside and then they have a striped outside and you're gonna see this basket up close in just a second it is really really cute and like i said ideal for somebody that either just loves to cook or you know pretty much anybody anybody would love this basket and this basket is suitable for a male or a female so if you want to give something like this to your son, maybe he just moved out or him and his wife just bought a house, whatever, this would be a cute little gift basket or something like it. But I'm going to go ahead and insert the close-up of this basket right now so you all can see. As you can see, everything in it is kind of black and wood and neutral and a little white. So, so cute. Very modern basket. And it definitely brings that Christmas cheer with the gingham bow and then that little weighted Christmas tree inside of the basket adds a little touch but you can certainly add a red bow to this you can add a pop of red with some like red berries or something like that and you can add a lot more items to this basket as well but i just wanted to keep it kind of simple and keep it very affordable so i just thought the cutting board and the, the spatulas and the basting brushes would be great and then that little soap dispenser and the mittens just finish it off perfectly so super cute little basket here y'all i am in love with this one another one of my favorites in the video but we're gonna go ahead and move on okay so we are on our last basket and this is kind of one that i came up with on a whim um i had showed you all some items that i found on the target website for 15 dollars or less and so this basket is going to feature a couple of those items but i think this would be so cute to give somebody that i had to share with you guys because you can do this with any style of these types of items so I'm gonna be adding this cute little tumbler and coffee mug that I found on the Target website. I think this would be perfect for a basket. And um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out who I'm gonna gift this to. I'm actually going to gift this to somebody. So yeah, this is actually gonna be a real gift for somebody. So first thing we're gonna go in with is a candle. So I have this really cute sand and fall candle. It has like a little leather um, trim around it to make it kind of modern. It's a teak wood candle smells good Ooh, that smells really good so I'm gonna pop that in then I'm gonna go in with the tumbler and the coffee mug these are kind of like the um, highlights of this basket I guess you could say and I do have some of the crinkle paper at the bottom of the basket to kind of give me a little height the next thing I'm gonna go in with is a book so I have this book it's called the pivot year it's 365 days to become the person you truly want to be so it's kind of like a journal and a book combined it's in the plastic that's why it's shiny and I don't want to take it out because I'm actually going to gift this to somebody so there's really no point in me opening it and I'm thinking about giving this to well I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say because she does watch my videos <laughs> she'll just be like oh I saw this on your video anyway <laughs> I won't say the name I'm gonna go ahead and add these sea salt caramels to the basket and that's pretty much it that's pretty much the basket you guys i think it's so cute i'm gonna go ahead and insert a close-up of this basket right now so that you all can see what it looks like up close but again random items cute items useful items that i think anybody would love so i think they make the best baskets you all just those random cute little things and this is definitely one of those situations you have the little tumbler and the coffee mug with the little black girl little sassy black girl on it then you have that great book which i think is going to be super helpful and useful to somebody then I have some caramels in there. So it's kind of like a little, you know, in the bed night, writing in your journal, eating a few caramels, and then of course burning your candles. So super cute little basket. I think this one is a good one to recreate if you can get your hands on that tumbler and the mug. This is great for, you know, a young person or an older person. I think either would love this item, so yeah so so cute for the last one i hope you guys liked all these baskets again i wasn't trying to be like crate and barrel you know pottery barn in this video these are just pretty random baskets but to me 
I think they're fun and I think they're great ideas, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money because you're going to see a lot of holiday content coming up, but a lot of it's like sponsored and so there's no budget, you know, you feel me? So I want to give you guys those affordable options. So I hope this video is helpful. Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about creative, cute, and affordable gift baskets. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some great ideas if you're interested in gifting gift baskets for the holiday season. Hopefully I gave you some ideas. I really wasn't trying to like be all extra and super expensive and super glam in this video. I just wanted to give you easy, practical ideas featuring stuff that you can pick up at Target, Rite Aid, CVS, pretty much anywhere and throw it into your baskets. But I think if you give these baskets to people they're gonna love them because like I said a lot of them I'm keeping for myself because I actually love the stuff that much but I hope you all got some great ideas I think all of your shopping should be done by December 1st so if you're not on it I'm trying to help y'all out go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button I got a lot more gift guides and holiday content coming for you all as well as my general vlogs and whatnot you know we in these streets so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye, y'all.